This is a nice and clean 1966 Ford Mustang convertible, powered by its 200 cubic inch six cylinder. Um, really the motor runs great, sounds great. Bottom of the hood is painted in a real high gloss black, it looks beautiful. Engine compartments all real decent. This is a really nice uh, driver quality 66 Mustang convertible. We're going to price it at $16,995, which I think is a great deal for this nice car. Um, really runs and drives nice down the road. The paint's very presentable. It is a Wimbledon white car, and that's exactly how it sits today. Uh, if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see all the pictures, probably about 25 pictures of the undercarriage on there as well. Got a nice hood gap here across the driver's side, passenger side's nice and even as well. As far as our bumper goes, um, bumper's very presentable in the front, not new, but it has a great shine. Front balance looks good, a couple little chips and stuff in there. Um, horse and corral, does have some pits in the horse and corral. Very presentable. He like said this is just a great parade quality car. And it's not a wavy car. If you look up and down the sides, it's really a nice straight car um, with a great look. As we talk about the paint and stuff on the hood, um, paint on the hood looks good. We've got a few little, you're going to have some little chips and stuff like that around the edges of it. Just got a little bit of stuff on the fender here. As we look at the top of the front fender, that all looks good. We got a little paint chip here. A couple touch up spots right on the top of that fender. Um, the main thing though is we go down here to the bottom of the fender and the door. There's no bubbles in the door or lower fender. That all looks really nice and solid. Um, we got a lot of little paint imperfections right around in this area. It's got some little touch ups, some rock chips that have been touched up. does have the dual mirrors. As we look at the mirrors though, there is some pitting in, in the chrome in the mirrors. Same thing with the door handles. I think they're about 20 bucks for the pair, but um, the door door handles um, chrome is, is not in great shape on it. Our door caps really nice and even from the top to the bottom. Lines up pretty nice here along the body lines. Not too bad. No bubbles or blisters in the quarter panel. In front of the wheel, over top of the wheel looks really good. We have, again, we have some paint chips. There's a chip here that's been touched up and a few other ones on the quarter panel. A couple down low. No bubbles or blisters down there either. Um, it's got a black top on it. The top's in really good shape. Um, around the back window stitching, I think a little bit is, is coming loose. Just a little bit there that could be repaired, but other than that, the top looks good on it. Door jam paint looks good as well. I said I think this is a lot of car for the money. Um, dash pad is nice, steering wheel looks good, automatic car. Carpet looks like the original carpet. You can just see it's it's just worn. Um, just getting a little fuzzy. Could be the original interior of this car, very, very could well could be. As far as our back seats in decent shape, but the seam split right along here. This the stitching's coming loose a little bit. It's got seat belts for two in the back. Um, front bucket seats look really good, both sides. Dash looks really decent. It's got an AM FM cassette in it. Uh, door panel, uh, passenger side is good. Appears to be original. We have a few little wrinkles, a couple little shrinkages on the door panel. And it's got just a little bit of a, a slit in the armrest. Rubbers are still pliable. Um, as we look inside the trunk, it's got the trunk mat and spare tire cover and everything. Exhaust is new, newer. Um, back bumper is presentable. It's got a scratch in the back bumper here. Trunk lid fits really good over on the passenger side. Driver's side appears nice as well too.
Um, rear quarter on the uh, driver's side, no blisters behind the rear wheel. Over the wheel looks good, in front of the wheel looks good. Um, lower door looks good, fender looks good. Don't see any blisters anywhere there. We got a couple little paint, kind of a just a hairline paint crack down along here. Again, these door handles are something I would probably definitely change. They just nice fender gap. My battery on my video camera is getting a little low, so for some reason if the video uh, ends abruptly, that's what happened. Inside the door jam looks good. Um, we do have kind of a, needs a new armrest here. We got a little chunk out of the armrest on the uh, driver's side. Door panels are original, very presentable. Original codes. Corner of the door looks good. I don't see any rips or tears or seam splits, guys, at, it, at first glance here on these uh, front seats. Just the back seat has one. Horn works. Radio works. Heater fan does work on the medium. Temp gauge works, oil gauge works, um, gas gauge works. Wipers are working. Um, when we got it in, we did um, turn all four of the drums. They needed to be turned. We got those turned. Uh, replaced the U-joint in it. Check lights and fluids, and that's pretty much it. It's just a great driver. Another thing, guys, I just seen, I didn't see it from the outside, but way up top here, right up here by my finger, got just a tiny little rock chip right there. Kickdown works on the tranny like it should, the passing gear. Steering feels very tight on it. I mean, no hands on the wheel, go straight down the road. I mean, there's the steering wheel is very tight. Brakes feel good. Um, no pull left or right. Another thing is, um, I drove this car home about 20 miles. So we bought it locally, and I drove it home, and uh, it really runs and drives good down the road. It's not going to be a powerhouse, but. Uh, just a nice cruiser. Here's our brakes again. Nice full pedal. Speedometer works as well. Five sixty. The car goes down the road nice. It's not a eighty mile an hour car. It's a sixty sixty five mile an hour car, probably down the road. Transmission kick down. Just kick down at fifty five. As far as our high speed braking, absolutely no pull left or right. I mean, the brakes feel awesome on it. Another thing I forgot to mention, I just noticed as this uh, other map blew up, it does have the nice Mustang, uh, you can see it right there. Nice Mustang emblem, uh, floor mats too. I think this is just a great little convertible that you can just jump in and have fun with.